In this video, we have the integral of cosine to the fourth of x. Now, if this was cosine to the first, no problem integrating. The answer would just be sine of x, but it's to the fourth power. So we'll be using this formula right here. It tells me if I can have the cosine squared of any angle, it's going to equal to one plus cosine of twice that angle over two. Comes from your double angle and half angle identities. So with this formula, we can reduce the power of this. So what this formula allows you to do, it allows you to reduce the power from two to degree to the power one. So I'm gonna rewrite this as cosine squared of x and then square it. That's the same thing. Cosine squared of x squared gives me cosine to the fourth. Now inside the parentheses then I have cosine squared and that's where this formula comes into play. The angle here is x instead of theta, but it's the same, same kind of setup here. So this is going to be the integral of, using this formula then, this will be 1 plus cosine of 2x quantity squared. I'll come over here then. So now we're just going to square this, just algebra. So the denominator will be a 4. That'll give me a 1 fourth. I'll just bring this outside the integral. It's a constant, so you can do that. And then this is going to be 1 plus cosine of 2x quantity squared. So it'll be a 1 plus double the product. Remember, we already took out the 1 fourth. So this will be 2 cosine of 2x. And then I'll have the cosine squared again. The 1 can be integrated easily. Now that we have cosine to the first, that can be integrated easily. But now we have another, we still have a cosine squared here. So I have to apply this formula up here. A second time. So this will be equal to, again I'll leave the one fourth out here, and this will be a one there plus two cosine of two x, and then this is going to be replaced then using this formula. It'll be one plus cosine of twice whatever the angle is. Now in this case the angle is two x, so twice that is four x. And that's over 2. Okay, then I'm going to simplify this. This will be still the 1 fourth out here. We haven't integrated yet. We're just going through the algebra part here. So on this part right here, we have 1 plus cosine of 4x over 2. So let's just divide through by, by the, uh, i got a plus here though, by the 2. So this will be a constant. This will be 1 half and then a 1 over here in front. So let me just put that at the front here. So that'll give me three halves. I still have the two cosine, two x. The one half part I already took out to the left side there. So I'm left here then with a cosine of four x. I got cosine of four x over two. Then I just put parentheses around this. I could break this up into three integrals here. And that's actually what we're doing, but I'm not gonna set it up and say integral of three halves, integral of this one, and then integral of this one, times the one fourth. Just leave it like that. And then we're just gonna integrate each term here with respect to x. So then the final setup will be, I'll put it right above here. So now we just integrate. Integrating three halves with respect to x is three halves x. But then you have times a one fourth. So that's three eighths x. Now this one, we have a two there, so that's constant. So we just, let's just look at the cosine of two x. The integral of cosine is sine of whatever the angle is, which is two, two x. And we have the two there, but again, we have the two x here. So we have to take the derivative of that, use the chain rule in reverse, and divide the coefficient, coefficient here by two. So two divided by two is one, but then we have the one fourth multiplying that. So that's gonna be plus, this multiplied by one fourth, or I could just put the four underneath here. So we got three eighths x plus sine of two x over four. Same sort of thing with the next one then. We have a plus at the one half here, and then the cosine, the integral of cosine again is sine of the angle, which in this case is four x. So then we got the one fourth here multiplying. Here it's still over two, so that's one half, so that's eight. One eighth here, 
But then we have the 4x here. Again, usually the chain rule in reverse. The derivative of 4x is 4, so this, that 1 fourth multiplies the 1 eighth, and that gives me 1 over 32. So I could 1 over 32, or I could put it over 32 this way. And then it's plus the constant of integration. So that's the answer there. 3 eighths x plus sine sine of 2x over 4 plus sine of 4x over 32 plus the constant of integration. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.